In this video, I'm gonna cover the new Luminar AI update. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto. I'm a photographer and a Lumix ambassador. And in this video, I'm gonna take a look at the brand new Luminar AI update from 1.0.0 to 1.0 to 1. But first, a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Skylum in any way. But I do have an affiliate link down below. So uh, just in case you think Luminar AI might be your uh, preferred post-processing application. And if you'd like to purchase Luminar AI, by all means use my link down below and you will support my channel at the same time. And now let's take a look at the update itself. As you can probably understand when, when you look at the numbers, it's a very minor update. But it will change the user interface, how it looks and works. So I think this um, video was worth making even though there are not new features in the application. This is something called soft rollout update or whatever, something like that. <laughs> but, but it means that not everyone gets the update at the same time. Because I think uh, Luminar is afraid that their servers might crash. When you open up your application, the old version, you may see a pop-up window that says there's a new update available. But if you don't see that, you can go to the Luminar AI menu and check for updates and you may be able to uh, update it like that if you don't see the pop-up window. But even if you can't update just yet, you will see the update very soon, trust me. But I suppose when I publish this video, everyone probably already uh, can update their Luminar if they want. And the first real update is the import. When you hit the plus sign to import, you will see these two icons for add folder and add image. Previously, you only saw a text. In terms of usability, this is almost like no improvement, but it looks much nicer like this, I think. But the next one is the big uh, visual improvement and it also improves the usability of the application. When you go to the edit section of the application, you can see that all the tools are now visible at the same time on the right side of the screen. Previously you had four different tabs for one for the essentials, one for the creative, one for the portrait and one for the professional tools. Now they are visible all at the same time and they are color coded. The essentials are blue and the creative are kind of pink, red and the portrait is yellow, orange and the professional is this light green. And in terms of usability, I think this is a big deal because it's so much easier to work now that you can see all the tools at, uh, at the same time. And if you have a smaller screen, mine is a fairly big 27 inch screen. If you have a smaller screen so that these, all these won't fit, you can scroll them up and down. And also the toning tool has changed a little bit and in my opinion, it's easier to use like this. Now it looks more like the rest of the tools. And um, I also think it just is more somehow clear now. And one more minor update is this hover over tips. When you hover the mouse over some of the tools, you can see this uh, small pop-up window that tells you what the tool actually does. There are also some bug fixes, but that's about it this time. But there's going to be another more major update in the first quarter of 2021, according to Skylum. And in that update, we're going to see some new features, real features. And one of those new features is going to be automatic sky reflections. And uh, what it means is that when you replace the sky and if you have water 
in your picture, you, the application will automatically also create the reflection, the sky reflection in the water. And if you uh, like to do sky replacements, then that would obviously make it a lot easier if the application can automatically add uh, the reflection in the water or whatever reflecting surface you have in the picture. And when that new bigger update is available, I'm gonna take a look at it and I'm gonna make another video uh, when it's available. And by the way, the rumbling noise you may have heard about 30-40 seconds ago, it came from the roof of this building where I live. I live on the top floor and uh, the sound came from some ice sliding down and falling down from the roof of the building. It's quite common this time of the year when the temperature raises slightly above zero and the roof uh, warms up slightly, all the accumulated ice and snow on the roof, they will slide down and fall down. But now let's get back to the topic of the day. Luminar AI is a very good software or application for those of you who don't really like post-processing work, but you would still like to get started or would still like to do some post-processing. And it's also very good software to start raw processing if you don't know anything about it. It's very easy to get started and the templates in the application, they offer very good starting point for raw processing. However, it has its downsides mainly in the catalog or archiving department and it lacks some key features or something that I think are key features like <laughs> key wording, for example, GPS coordinates or the location info and some other features that I think should be included in the uh, catalog. But if those are not important for your workflow, then Luminar AI might just be the correct or the perfect software for your post-processing work. And like I said at the beginning, if you feel like you want to purchase it, please use my link down below and you will support my channel at the same time. And here's my video that I made uh, some time ago when Luminar AI was launched and there you can see more of my opinions on the Luminar AI. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.